We're going. I said that to Gene Simmons at a roast. When I wrote to Gene, and one of the lines I used was uh, something about slam your head in the toilet. Um, and he was like, whoa. Like, it was like, I, I came out so fucking vicious. I was like, I didn't mean it. I just like the way that sounds. That <laughs> yeah, was better there. All right, so we're going to play uh, one of Bob's <laughs> clips. Oh, shit. Now that I've told that stellar story. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to let you choose the clip. Because I don't, I don't, I don't want to play any of my own clips because I kind of, uh, I'm sick of my own voice at this point. Well, um, how many CDs do you have, though, first of all? Two, right? Two, and I have two other completed ones. That just makes me sick, first of That'd all. That'd be four. Well, this is what, this really means. I know it's four. <laughs> I'm stupid, but I'm not that stupid. Um, yeah, you you have uh, guys like you. Comedy's changed so much. If you we, we played Pryor. You played Newhart. These guys made... What prior CD was what a half hour, thirty five minutes? Thirty five minutes, yeah, an roughly, album, right? Roughly, yeah, and they didn't put one out every year, right? No, but uh, Pryor put out a lot. They had a lot of laugh record stuff and a lot of uh, Pryor had a lot on War Brothers. He, he had a lot of material out. But it's like guys like you know, hour after hour after hour. Back in the day, you came up with it takes you fifteen, sixteen years to come up with that first hour of material to get you work, to get you where you know, as to be a professional comedian. Then you put it on a CD and it's gone, and you. You have to, you know, you have to come up with a whole new hour. You guys are putting out hour after hour after hour. I got like what two CDs. The first one doesn't count. The second one's like a half a CD. There's like three good jokes on this one, and now I have like 40 minutes of another CD. I feel like a schlup around you. It's all right. Stop setting the curve so high. You should. Uh, which clip do you want to play? Yours. I like your stuff. I don't. <laughs> I don't like that he didn't hear anything that I said, and he just was just moving on to your shitty material. I don't know. Um. I, I, there's two clips and you can pick. Just pick either one. Either the one about the, uh... That one. <laughs> okay. I don't care what the other option is. <laughs> I can't wait to eat tonight. <laughs> I'm so hungry. So I really, I'm so hungry right now. My favorite restaurants are Friday's, Applebee's, Cheesecake Factory. You know, you know why I love those restaurants? Because <laughs> they don't give a shit about your health. <laughs> They're like, hey, we took chicken and put cake in it. Is that cool? It's like, fucking yes. Is that legal? Oh, my God. Can I get cheese? Yes, you can. Come on in. Four kinds, fatso. Sit right over here. Right by the ski poles, but don't eat them. We're going to kill you, fatso, tonight with riblets. You know what the places I love is when they have the dessert menu and it's a color photo of the menu. They actually take a photo. What fucking creeps? And they leave it on the table while you're eating. You're just looking at it like, I'm coming, motherfucker. I'm coming. <laughs> and it's such a sexy photo. It's like a fat guy porno magazine. And it describes, like, it talks to you like, hey, I'm Apple Krispies. You can put nuts on my face or caramel on my tits. Oh, you ever get dessert with somebody and they ruin it? They're like, that's too rich. What the fuck does that mean? It tastes awesome? You diabetic, boring ass face. It's dessert. It's supposed to be rich. I'm not eating because I'm hungry. I've been full for a half hour. I'm eating to stuff feelings from my childhood, you piece of shit. I need a rich dessert. You know, I need a dessert Satan made from his ass. And... This is Satan ass fudge chunk. If you eat this, your mother will die. Oh, Bobby, why? <laughs> uh, I hate getting dessert with your girl. That sucks out, right? You're like, baby, I'm getting dessert. I'm okay, I'll just have a little of yours. No, you fucking won't. <laughs> I'll stab you in your face with this spork if you cross the table, bitch. Then that fucking waiter, that gay waiter comes over every time and ruins it. He's like, hey, hi, two spoons, just in case. <laughs> Dessert cock -walk and fag he is. <laughs> fucking snap your suspenders, silly boy. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Hey, this is uh, Jim Norton. You're back with the Jim Norton Show here on Raw Dog, Sirius 104, XM 150. Bob Kelly and I uh, doing this show together. And we're going to be wrapping this up very shortly. It's the, the first show. So, like, you know, I hope you kind of dug it. And I know where this goes, we don't know. You know, 
Whatever. Amy what didn't you? come because you didn't tell her the right thing. You messed up a little bit. You like that I'm really fucking throwing her under the bus? Yeah. I really am blaming her like it's her fault. Yeah. She didn't know when I was taping my shitty show. You just told her, you want to do my show? And she said, yeah, when? And then you never called her back. And then you showed up to tape the show. And you go, where are you? And yeah. she went, you, where? Where? Now. Yeah, I started to panic when it was 30 minutes after she was supposed to be here. I was just hoping she was drunk and passed out, and then I realized <laughs> I fucked up. So we're trying to think of a clip to play for you to end out this show. Uh, I want to do something by John Valby, because I'm a big fucking Valby fan. I think he's very underrated, probably because he's a psychopath, and he's one of those guys that just probably could have done different things and been more of a household name, because I think he's brilliant. I really do. There's a brilliance to what fucking Valby does. I'm, I'm familiar with him, and, you know, I'm not as, you know, I don't have all his albums or whatever like that, but wh where is he from, and what, where did, when did he start? Buffalo, New York, I think, and he's been, he, he was doing in the piano bars, you know, uh, in the mid-70s. I first heard of him in, I think, 76, 77. I was a kid, and I would play Valby on my little recorder and let people listen to it. You know, I would always play comedians to my friends, and, like, when they would laugh, I would would kind of pretend I was saying the shit Valby was. Really? Yeah, and he looked nothing like I thought. I thought he was gonna like look like like had like a crazy mustache and long wild man hair. Right. And then I you know I fucking finally meet him. And he's wearing a white suit and a, a fucking a black derby like a pedophile with glasses <laughs> and he has soft hands because he's never worked a day in his life. <laughs> but he's a funny fuck. And before we play the clip, let me just whore us both with a couple of plugs. If you want to see me uh, do my live stand-up, I'll be here in New York at Caroline's Comedy Club June 3, 4, 5, and 6, or the Bugatti in Atlantic City July 2nd and 3rd. And Bobby, they can catch you up at the Wilbur Theater in Boston June the 5th. So I'm going to close out with this uh, John Valby clip. This is, uh, he's really a brilliant song parody guy. Song yeah. parody guys, if they're good, are as funny as anybody. And I know that they get killed by other comedians who think they're too hip to write a parody. Right. But this is a take on Billy Joel's song, Woman. The Jim Norton Show, thank you, Bob, for being a part of this first. Uh, let's just call it an abortion. And uh, we'll <laughs> see you next week. Let's hope so. Thank you.